Hey guys, welcome to Is It Worth a Sandwich? Bethesda has released its ninth batch of Creation Club content. It's not a huge one. Just three alternative armors for 100 Bethesda bucks each. And I only have 250. Huh. Eight dollars later and let's try some mods. This time we'll be covering all three mods, the Elven Hunter, the Daedric Male, and the Dragon Scale Armor. Let's start with the Elven Hunter. Head to Falkreath. In the Guards Barracks, you will find a bounty for a high elf arsenal. After you track down Arsenal's camp and deal with him and his wolf, you are awarded with the Elven Hunter armor. The Elven armor is nice and has kind of a pieced together feel. I dig the look, but the quest was only okay. I don't know how I feel about this one. Next, we have the Daedric Mail. To start this quest, head to Candlehearth Hall in Windhelm and talk to the innkeeper. You are sent to find Gunther Frostfoot, a merchant who has gone missing. I set out to find him fearing for the worsts. NPCs and Creation Club mods don't tend to live all that long. Entirely too many random encounters later, I arrived at the lodge. But by the time I finished off the bed, it was too late. Gunther Frostfoot had died in a comically undignified way. Excuse me, we're having a moment here. Vampires too? This is too many random encounters! On Gunther's body you'll find the Ring of Master. A pretty cool enchanted ring, especially if you're doing like a stealthy play. Once you have the ring, you can head to uh, Maradon, one of the Khajiit merchants, who will either trade you the ring for the armor, or if you actually have the gold, you can just buy the armor outright, which I do for a change. The Daedric Mail looks sick, and it's cool that you get a light armor variant of the Daedric armor. I just wish it came with a helmet, but oh well. Lastly, we have the Dragon Scale Armor. You must head back to Candlehearth Hall and read a book. It was reading this book that caused me to realize that all of the alternative uh, armor stories are connected. I probably should have noticed that sooner, but eh, case are off. After finishing the book, you head to Yorgrim Overlook, where you must face a skeleton warrior. And then two other skeletons ran away from me. I don't blame them. I am terrified. There's a little environmental story here about a romantic guy who is lured to the Overlook for a date, carrying wine, chicken, and poetry. I like this touch. Finally, you're able to get your dragon scale armor from behind a locked gate. I would say this armor is an aesthetic improvement over the vanilla dragon armor. I like it, but... What? You're back in time to ruin my conclusions. How about thee? I thought mud crab is tougher than you. Now, as I was saying, I like the look of this armor, and I do think it's an improvement over the vanilla dragon bone armor, but I'm not necessarily sure if it's worth it. I like the poetry, though. For these three armors uh, that I reviewed today, the Daedric Mail is my favorite. For aesthetics, function, and the quest associated with it, I think all three of those were great, and I'd actually recommend getting the Daedric Mail. One point I did want to bring up with this uh, alternative armor sets, though. If you are new to the game or this is your first time through, I would avoid most of the alternative armors for the Creation Club as they could potentially unbalance a new player. These are endgame items right here, or at least the Daedric Mail and uh, the Dragon Scale are. Wouldn't recommend them for a first time player unless you're already very far in the game. So one of the issues I'm having with Bethesda's Creation Club is how not transparent they're being. At the beginning of this video, I mentioned having to pick up more Bethesda bucks to purchase these armors. This wouldn't have bothered me so much if I knew there was more content coming out in the near future. I'm getting this video out a month late, and there's still no word on whether or not Bethesda is putting out more content for the Creation Club. 
it's frustrating, and just a little bit of transparency would go a long way here. Well, guys, thank you for joining me on this little trip back to Skyrim. I do always enjoy doing these videos. Uh, if there's anything you'd like to see me cover with this or anything like that, let me know in the comments. Also, what's your favorite sandwich? I haven't asked that in a bit.